Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an investment tracker in Google Sheets. This is the dynamic investment tracker and you can simply select the month from this drop down. According to this month, it will show you the updated data. Here we are showing the total investment amount, total current value, total ROI and here we are showing the average investment duration. Then we are showing here the charts amount invested by investment type and this is the current value by the investment type. Here we are showing the sort by and uh, data sort, sort data by and sort type. So you can see the data appearing here is only for the selected month. So let's say I am selecting here April, then this data is for April only. Here the sort data by you can select we have sorted by date let's say I'm saying sort by the investment type so this is sorted by investment type you can sort this by descending order so this is in descending order or let's sort by the amount invested so this is sort by the amount invested in descending order okay or let's take it in ascending order so this is in ascending so this is totally dynamic and you just need to select the uh, column here sort the data and here we have used the formula you can see now let me show you the data here we have the data serial number date investment type wherein we have the bonds cryptocurrency mutual fund real estate and stocks this is amount invested current value roi purchase price investment duration and here we have the notes now i will show you how you can create this dynamic summary page using the various formulas and the charts here let's add a new sheet and we will create the new summary here new summary in this new summary let's take the same header and just paste that here so we are using the same headers now we will use the same month this month is nothing but just a drop down you can see and we have put the month names here Okay, so we can copy the same one, copy and just paste it here. Like we are taking the data from column B, so we will take from the column B. So paste this here. Okay, if you want to create this from the scratch, you can simply right click and go to the uh, drop down and you can start typing the month name here like Jan, Pev. Okay, and the other month name add item and once you click on done that will appear here okay similarly we have created this now let me show you the other thing also let me copy this all data and i will show you from the starting paste as value okay we can remove the formulas from here let's make the width of the column a slightly smaller and this should be bigger this should be bigger let's go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here now select this range border apply some light color border let's say this one and here you can fill some color if you want let's say i'm taking this dark color okay and here we can show the actual values so we will show the values later on first let's uh, create this table okay and also create this one this table so i'm just pasting this table here like we have pasted there so you can just paste this here okay and you can create the drop down of this one also and you can create the drop down for this one also so i will show you how you can create the drop down first let me apply some border here all border okay now we will create the table from row number 13 now let me copy this header because this will be the fixed header so let's come here and paste that header here okay now let's adjust the column width slightly node should be slightly bigger roi can be smaller all right now we will use the formula here and before that let me delete this one and let's add a drop down right click and go to the drop down and just select drop down from a range and here we will select the range so if we take this range from here till nodes and click on ok then you can see it has taken the drop down values here so i can select let's say date this is similar to this one okay or if you want to use the investment amount you can make this column slightly bigger 
now here you can create another drop down wherein you can put the ascending or descending so just right click add the drop down and let's say i'm taking here ascending add another item then i'm taking here descending and you can change the color if you want and let's say i'm just making these color here ascending and descending all right now we will use the formula here from the data sheet so let's use the formula first i'm just using the formula filter select the all range from the date column till the end okay this one comma then we want to apply the filter on the month column so we will use the text function and let's select the month column which is we have no only date column here so we have to use the uh, date column with the text function so we will convert this into the month so select the all comma in the inverted comma put mmm four times close the bracket equal to come to the new summary sheet and select this month name okay just close the bracket and hit the enter we are getting all values here you can see right we are getting all the values here now let's select this data and align this middle apply some border the same border color this one and select the whole data take size around 8 9 and make sure to apply the same border at bottom also because when you have the long list of the data it should appear automatically now if i change the month here let's say march then this is for the march right now the next thing we will sort this data so to sort this data like we have used here sort function we will use the same sort function so before the filter function let's use the sort function and in the sort function you can click here first we will take the range then the sort column so we have taken the range now to get the column number we have to use the column number let's say i'm using the column number one then the next stage is ascending so you can use here is ascending if this value is equal to ascending okay or you can use here true for now okay let me show you so here you can see this data is sorted by first column which is month if i put here two this is sorted by investment type right so wherever this column is available we will get the position of that accordingly that will be filters that means i can use the match function in place of this two so just use the match and match with this column this one comma select this range till the end comma zero and just close the bracket at the enter it hasn't taken the full range so let's take again this range from here till the nodes okay so we are getting the values here you can see and if i sort this while let's say current value this is sorted by current value or date this is sorted by date right you can see this is working now the only problem is it is always taking is ascending okay so because we have put here true so let's use here this value equal to ascending in the inverted comma so that means if this value c11 value is ascending then it will return true otherwise it will return false so whenever it will be false it will show descending so let me select here descending now you can see this is sorted descending if i take here ascending this is ascending okay and if i want to change let's say investment type this is investment type by if i select descending then this is descending all right so that is how you can create this one dynamic table now let me show you how we have created the charts also so we have used the chart for amount invested by investment type so let me insert a chart here let's keep the chart here double click on this chart uh, or change the chart type first we'll take here bar chart we can just click here and let's take the range first we'll take the investment type which is available on the C13 till the end. 
add another range and we'll take the actual value or invested value okay actual invested value this one click on okay now here you can see it is taking automatically just aggregate this one and use row number 13 as header let's come to the top and we can see the chart title chart is created here go to the customize and add the chart title that is amount amount invested by investment type align this middle and take the font color as black and the size around 14 okay and for this axis you can reduce the font size take around 12 or 10 this one also take around 10 we can remove the grid lines from here just click on the grid lines and check the major grid lines and we can change the color also so let's go to the series and let's take the different fill color for example i'm taking this color and we can add the data labels also from the series and scroll down you can see this is the data label option okay so we have added everything here now we can make the copy of this chart and let's paste this chart here this time we will create a column chart just double click on this and go to the setup and in place of this column D, we will take this time column E, which is current value. So just click here and select till the end. Click on OK. Now just select here current value and it is taking some automatically. Change the chart type. Let's take here column chart. If you want to make this 3D, you can go to the chart style and just make this 3D. All right. So that is how we have created this dynamic summary and now we can show these all values for example total invested amount we can simply take the sum of total invested amount then we can take the sum of current value this is the sum of current value and average duration we can use the average of duration in month now for the roi we can use the formula current value minus invested value divided by invested value so let's put this in the bracket divide by invested value and just hit the enter so this is five percent if you change this then you can see everything is getting changed all right friends so that is how you can make this dynamic summary you can create this for other purpose also like if you are creating some sales summary or you are creating some kind of uh, employee performance summary you can create that all right so friends that is how we can create this investment tracker template in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching